Hi, do you have athletes that play tremendously well when they're comfortable in their environment with their regular team, but then you put them in a travel team or you put them on an unfamiliar team and tends to play very tentatively and lose confidence? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. I'm gonna talk about today, uh, I'm gonna answer a question from David about how his son plays super tentatively when he's in an uncomfortable environment and how we can make him feel more confident and more comfortable in that uncomfortable environment. You're watching Sessions with Doc, unscripted and unrehearsed answers to your mental game questions. Here's the question I received from David. He said, my son plays baseball. When he's comfortable in an environment, such as playing with his regular team, he shines. But we have tried out for other teams and then when he doesn't know the people on the team, he tends to struggle to perform, especially at bat, like he normally does. How do I maintain his confidence in any situation? Once again, another great question, uh, one we receive a lot. So the problem is your son is really comfortable when he's playing with kids he knows or coaches he knows, and he goes into an environment that he doesn't know his teammates, he doesn't know the other members, and then he tends to struggle. Well, the first thing you have to understand is what's affecting your son in that situation? In other words, is he trying to impress the other teammates on this new team or this new experience, this uncomfortable environment? Is he worried about how they're perceiving his skills? Is he worried about letting them down, for example? Is he worried about he'll look silly or embarrass himself? Most of the time, fear of failure gets in the way of him feeling comfortable in this situation because his focus is too much on the other, uh, his teammates and impressing his teammates. And probably if he's not doing well at bat, He's just trying not to make mistakes like swing at bad pitches, for example, and probably being more tentative and more controlled in that situation. So what you want him to do is you want to get him out of that mindset about impressing the other teammates because he's probably comfortable with his regular teammates and coaches and doesn't feel the need to um, impress or not embarrass himself. So what you want to do to get him more comfortable is you need to get him to focus more on his talents and his abilities and not worry about how the other people are perceiving him. It's not only a huge distraction, but it's a source of pressure a la fear of failure. We call that social approval in my work. He's too concerned with what others think about his performance and thinks that they're judging him in this new situation or this new team. So he's gotta go out there and focus on his skills, executing those at-bats, what he's gonna do on deck, how he's gonna get prepared mentally on deck, what he's gonna do, what we call the performance cues in the batter's box, um, and not really worry about the outcome or the aftermath. The aftermath is, am I going to disappoint a coach? Am I going to look silly or embarrass myself, or am I these new teammates going to respect me? Uh, thanks for the question. I hope that helps. Hey, if you want to learn more about confidence, check out our Confident Athlete series at peaksports.com. Or if you have athletes that are 12 and younger, you can ch check out the Confident Sports Kid CD and workbook series as well, also at peaksports.com. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube videos up here using this button. In addition, there's other videos in this series on confidence and Ask Doc. We've probably placed a video here from last week's session. You've been watching Sessions with Doc. We'll see you next week.